Hello, this is CBC North Dude. I'm Paul Andrew. The word information highway used to be just that to the residents of Rankin Inlet, a word. But what started out as a school project has opened up a whole new world for the entire community. Tonight, a story about surfing the net in Rankin Inlet. And the junior boys soccer team from Ray Edzo has... <laughs> It started out as a school project, but it's grown into something huge, something that's been recognized nationally. The term information highway used to be just a couple of words to the people of Rankin Inlet. But now people in the community can join the millions around the world who are already surfing the net, even if they don't own their own computer. Here's Eva Ariak. Our theory was if we take this and develop a good facility here, We'll open it up to the whole community. Industry Canada's Community Access Program. We are hoping to involve uh, also many partners from the community and around the region in creating a community access center that would serve not only the kids of Liusek school, but Maniulu students who can come over here after school, and the whole community, the entire community in the evenings and weekends. Sigur la pamik, sakko, pero saving cooperation, takwa, eke yo rali lautu. Takwa lo kinyao yenik, sakko titi vale titi yuyut, inyo e kinyao yako tigi yang inik, tamani kivalomi. Amalo, nang minakatun, unok tu marit, ilagi yao rilao ribut, kinyao yetigut, eke yo shutik. Some corporations and businesses are a little reluctant to want to, well, I suppose they shouldn't be, but they are a little reluctant sometimes to make a donation outright to a school because they feel, well, the government should be looking after that properly, and, uh, and rightly so. But in this case, they are not only helping our school kids, our 375 staff and students, but again, the entire community. And using that kind of um, model of building partnerships in the community, uh, we're now at a point where we have over 50 partners in education. You can see... They put in a $5,000 worth of electrical infrastructure totally donated of their own time and the materials as well. And that's just one of many stories that make this place and make this program happen. Uh, so it, the cutbacks have had some pretty serious impacts. Um, you know, class sizes have gone up from, say, 17 to, in some cases, 26. And that's significant. And I thank our staff for their support in order to, you know, for them to having accepted that responsibility to keep this going. Here we can actually go there virtually or we can be there within seconds, touring through, finding information that we, we want to acquire on almost any subject. It's really almost limitless. <laughs> People are using this place in many, many different ways. We have uh, preschoolers coming with moms and dads. We've got kids, regular uh, sort of primary school kids. We've got high school kids doing research. Tanelo Patrick Kallik, Ilinyak to York, select to serving me, Tabunga Sungo, Pinisuaro Sitaman. Yatamana to Tilimarelu, um, business cartoon, solo, small business cartoon, Tamna to Tilimarelu, Corto, Ma Ilinyak to Nata Gurunga, a total come to Lara Corto, Linata 
We've got um, kids who've dropped out of school, who don't have a place, who sort of kind of fallen between the cracks. Well, some of them are finding a place here, and uh, we feel very good about that. You know, maybe they'll find their way back into something, say, with Arctic College or adult education or something that way. It'll give them a little confidence. And even the most reluctant readers and writers, when they come in and see that little red flag saying, you've got mail, Bill, how do you, what's that word? How do you read that? How, how do I write back? But when our kids here write about going on the land hunting with their dad or going, you know, caribou hunting or, or going on the flow edge of Hudson Bay and being, see, seeing seals and polar bears, kids from like the Bronx, a 14-year-old girl named, I think it was Camilla Estevez or something, wrote back saying, unbelievable, I go to the Bronx Zoo and I see these animals and I can only dream of what you see in your normal existence as kids growing up here in the north. Hey, what's up, Dylan? Now we meet Thomas Whitby. This is Michael Kuzuwak. Welcome to Leo Busak School. Sanalang mayor, kagasaw yung tigut, kawigay ako sa niktak ko, kanya sa nangyutay, pula ako na kulugit, kagasaw yung tigut, si Dr. Zhuang Miu Limanut. Ang malutaw, si Dr. Zhuang Miu Limanut, kagasaw yung kaktun, dahil may naitimik, pula ako na kulugit, at bunga kanya sa nangyutay. We estimate over 5,000 people have come to visit the Leo Busak School website from around the world, and in so doing, are learning about our kids' lives, their culture, their language, their history, their, the way they see themselves as Northerners. It allows our kids to suddenly realize that their lives, unlike what the cable TV might, the images that they might get from that, the internet gives them the feedback from other people around the world to say, what you have to say as a young person growing up in the North is interesting and valued, and it, it it allows our kids to grow in confidence and self-esteem. And our estimates, uh, through our sign-in sheets and other things, we, we estimate that in, since we were opened up officially on November 2nd, we estimate we've had over a thousand visits to the Community Access Center, to Igalak here. Now, many of those are repeat customers or repeat clients, but still, in, the, in that over 1,000 visits that I told you that we estimate we've had, I have to come in here and teach every day and work, and not one CD-ROM has been stolen or one pair of headphones broken or not one personal thing of mine missing. Um, our books and magazines, everything is kept very well, and which means that the community values what we're doing here. Conference Board of Canada Unit. I do really feel rather uncomfortable having my name on that thing. I mean, I'm very proud. Don't get me wrong. I'm extremely proud. I couldn't be prouder. But I really do, I just said this yesterday to someone, that um, this, this award is a mirror of this community, of the staff, our administration, the CEC here, um, and, and the partners. Um, without them, I wouldn't be standing in front of you talking about this right now. Um, 